So, to catch you up to speed, what happened last time, uh, Corin, you and Corona had a wonderful party up on this amazing sky island, and what happened is, as you were partying up there, you got super drunk and decided, hey, this heart that's in the middle of this tree in the forest, I want to try to pull it out. You tried to do so, and in doing so, you got yourself wrapped up in vines and shit. Oh, wow. I do remember the party. That other part, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you got wrapped up in a bunch of vines that is slowly draining your life away. And what happened is the forest tried to have you assimilated. Your buddy, Corona and Bluford managed to make it so that only the feet are covering your vines. Now, you could wait until a guardian of the forest to come by, or you could try to get out yourself. Because you're still conscious. But am I still drunk? No, you're 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 pretty conscious, as in it's been. Corona left you there. Oh. It's that been it's been about three days, and then uh, Ava yeah. was down. Ava was downstream, as she uh, got stepped on by the mech a few times, and had all of her arms broken and legs broken, and then restored, and then broken again, then restored. And they're off in a whole different city. Well, fuck. Now, well, Corin. Because Corona can't fucking drive. So Corona, uh, Corin, makes you me. are awake. And you are in this island still. And you, you wake up and you find yourself that you can't really move. You can, you can move your upper torso, but you can't move your lower torso. Uh, that is not good. <laughs> let me uh, let me let me do a little flex of my muscles. <laughs> uh, okay. And let me let me break out of this place. Okay. So how fun? Normally, you need the blessing of the guardian of the forest. However, judging by your character, I'm sure you can get your way out of this somehow. Yeah. Wait. I could just I could just fucking uh switch forms. I could turn into a werewolf. So yeah, I'm gonna turn into a werewolf. <laughs> okay. As you use your lichen powers and you become ferociously furry with fur stuffing out of all of your suits of pieces of armor and out of your clothing, you are now a lichen. <coughs> <coughs> you are now a lichen. Oh. And as you do so, the vines undo themselves from your body as they do not recognize you. Oh. I don't know why I'm a wooing. I, I have I have full consciousness and sentience. I'm a I'm a fucking <laughs> badass lichen. I know what's up. The vines have undone from your lower torso as they've fallen limp. They do not recognize your newest form anymore. And they begin to search furiously for your old one. I've gotta go. Let me uh let me go back to the to the old to the old oh, god damn it, why can't I talk? The Leonin village. Okay. As you come back to the Leonin village You see a number of them approach you with spears, as they say, Halt, beast! Do not step closer. No way, guys, it's cool, it's me. You know, the the Azamar from before. Let me, uh, let me just transform roll, back to normal. Roll me, roll me pers- pers- roll me persuasion. Uh, I got an 18. Okay, well, while you're still in a lichen form, you convince them completely, hey, I'm I'm the same dude as before. So they they believe you now. Cool. Thumbs up. Hey, guys, how's it going? Where the fuck have I been? Brother, it's been some time. Your friends left you. They left for an adventure of sorts. However, 
you try to consume the heart of the forest. Can you the what? Who tried to consume the heart of the forest, brother? And the vine. Why did I do that? Tried to, and the vines protected the heart by surrounding you. <clears throat> did I succeed? No. Oh, okay. Instead, well. the forest seeks to kill you. Oh, um. Well, that's not good. <laughs> But that, you know, that's fine. I can live with that. I just, I have you not know. knowing of what this form you take, but I would suggest you get off the island as soon as possible. I mean, they seem, the, the vines seem to have let me go whenever I became this. So, like, I think, I think I'm good as long as I'm like this. I would say that's a good thing, brother, but it may only take some time for the vines to adjust. In the forest to remember. Oh, can I like apologize or something? I was drunk. I wasn't myself. Brother, for now, I believe it is best that you go to find your friends. Sounds good to me. Do you know which way they went? Down to the surface. Oh, why the fuck would they go down there? Corona knows what happened. That shit was fucked. That whole city's gone. <laughs> well, um... Okay, second question. Do you have any way... for me to get down there? Without me, like, you know, sprouting wings is something that I can't exactly do. Well... Uh... We have an experimental glider. I like where this is going. Please continue. We have wondered ourselves how to get back down to the surface below. And some of our best artificers have come up with a gliding mechanism. Which requires awesome. an immense amount of strength to withhold, but... With yourself being the way you are, I believe it won't be a challenge. I am jacked. Let's go. So they walk over to you and they start stripping on this large, like, mechanical wing glider. It's very heavy. It's about, give or take, a hundred extra pounds. No problem for me. As soon as you start to get to free-falling air, flap your wings like a bird, brother. They say Lovely. that if you do that, you should be able to at least glide or fly. That just makes sense to me. Fly like a flap, flap like a bird, float like a fucking, I don't know, me, I guess, I don't know. Roll me in an I need you to roll me an intelligence save. An intelligence save? I got a dirty 20. You got a dirty 20. Yep. You know exactly how to do this without having experience. You can... <laughs> you can pretty safely assume that you'll be able to fly this thing. Yeah, same makes sense. I get I it. I makes... have to have you every so often make athletics checks to, you know, because you're flapping a lot. You know, makes, you know, makes sense to me. I get, pff, not a problem. You're all rigged up now. Hell yeah. So I just got to go jump off this cliff, huh? And uh, flap, like a, flap like a bird. You will have to swim through the cloud ocean first. But once you get past... You should be fine. Cool. Yeah, not a problem. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a go. It was good seeing you guys again. Sorry, I tried to eat the heart of the forest. That that's kind of a dick move, but I I was drunk. Okay. So you walk back towards the cliff where you were before. 
<coughs> as you walk back back towards that cliff, you see the cloud ocean that you were once at before. Are you going to jump? Yep. We're going to go through that bad boy. Okay. As you jump off, completely, you jump into the clouds, and you immediately are hit with this watery texture of the cloud that you saw before, where you can see through it very, very, very clearly and transparently, and you can see the edge of the clouds of where you need to swim to. Make me a acrobatics check to make sure you can swim through accurately. I got a dirty 20. You're doing fine. You're just swimming, dog paddling all the way through. Damn, great, these fucking rolls, though. <laughs> great start. <laughs> I'm coming back. All right. Okay, so you make it all the way to the edge of the clouds and you hit free fall. What will you do? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to flap my arms okay. like a bird. As you flap your arms like a bird, the mechanism begins to engage. As gears and cogs begin to turn, you start gaining a lift as you... And you start to almost, as you flap your wings, you begin to gain lift. And you notice that you're kind of like a bird flying through the air, kind of bobbing up and down in the air. Oh, I forgot to ask really quick. At any point when I was gone, did my character ever take like a short or long rest? You took a short... You took a long rest. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I still have, like, no hit points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, long rest. <laughs> cool, cool. So you're flapping your wings. And you notice that from the air above, all of Albion is gone. It is nothing more than just a crater of water and a shoreline. Along with the massive crater of the forest that you can see. Man, fuck, it sucks to be those guys. You, you can see a campfire, almost as if there was a setup of tents of sorts down next to the coastal line of where Albion used to be. I'm going to fly over to that campsite. Okay. Roll me a athletics check. You said athletics? Mm -hmm. I got a 19. You manage to flap yourself down, and you're flapping, and then you dive down, and you instantly breeze up and create a lift for yourself to kind of just float on down and then get on the ground. Superhero pose. So, at Romy performance, then. You got it. <laughs> God. That's a 23. <laughs> you manage to... Do such a great superhero pose that you give yourself inspiration. Hell yeah! <laughs> yo, 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 what the fuck is up? So click your little inspiration icon up there. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you can now roll a 1d10 to any of your skill checks or save before the initial roll. So you can roll a 1d10 and then you have to roll it. Hell yeah. As long as you roll before the outcome, you're fine. Hell yeah. It lasts for a minute. So, you see this campsite, and you see a number of giant mech tracks, and foot tracks, and little doggy tracks. And you see there is like some little tent set up and campfire that was snuffed out. Hmm. Uh, what else do I see around the uh, roll me investigation. campsite? Campsite. It's a 23. You see that there was some kind of struggle here, as if someone was almost getting stepped on by something massive. And then there was a couple of people walking around. You see tracks that are very similar to Bluefords. Oh. Yo, you my see, boy. And you see sandal tracks that remind you of Corona. Uh. And All you right. You also manage to find little pieces of cut up like cloth that 
looks very similar to what Ava was wearing. All right, uh, do I still have the hand with me? You do. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to follow the tracks. <laughs> okay. So you follow the tracks, and you notice that the tracks begin to stop as they all appear to look as if they got into some kind of massive mechanical device similar to the mech you saw before. Do you think that maybe they might have gone in? Somewhere. Yeah. Throw me another guys... investigation to assume the direction. Uh, it's a 27. Okay. You managed to think that they went east. Sorry, west. Alright, well, let's uh, start flapping like a bird. <laughs> Roll me a athletics check. You get a running start. All right. This is fucking phenomenal. I got a twenty-three. <laughs> you managed to. You can know, like, roll. You know how like Super Mario can do like a triple jump and he just like, yip, yahoo, yippee. Yeah. He jumps. You just do that. Hell yeah. So you're up in the air like 25 or so feet jumped up in the air and now you're flapping your wings and you're going even higher. A foot by foot slowly flapping your wings upwards. Hell yeah. So you're going west and you find that you're slowly gaining ground towards a city coming up to a kind of like a port city. And you see there's huh. a number of people down there setting up guard outposts around the outer perimeter of it. And you can also see that there is, seems to be, as you're flying across, you can see there is guard posts around it, people assessing damages, and then you see a mech, similar to one that you got flown in, that's off towards the shore line of, it's off towards like the shore line. All right, I'm gonna go over towards the mech. You see a number of districts of people walking around. All seems to be almost humans and dwarfs. You also see a market district along with a centerpiece of a large statue. The you appears to be looked quite broken, tattered down, cracked, and covered in vines and grime, as if it's been sitting there for years unkept and unattended. You see that the shoreline and the docks are pretty well contempt, and the shoreline has this filament, filmy ooze on it. Looks very black, almost like oil. Oh man, poor beach eagles, man. So you you get you come down, and as you come down, you see that Bluefruit. Yo, my boy! Yeah. It's me! You gonna open up the door to him? Yeah! So you open up the compartment, and the little thing goes over top, and Bluefoot jumps out into your arm. You gonna catch him? Yeah, I'm gonna catch him. That's my boy. Roll me a strength check. Uh, 19. Okay, you catch him. Hell yeah, you're, that's my boy. You're holding up this large dire wolf. While in your lichen form. Are you gonna change back, by the way? Uh. Not yet. Okay. So. You're in this lichen form, and. Blueford is like licking you and licking your fur and snuggling into you, whooping and barking and biffing. And... I, I also lick and nuzzle into him. It's my boy. I'm one of him in this moment. Okay. That's a good boy. Where, where is everybody, boy? Where is everybody? Are they here? Where are they? He just looks at you and then looks at the cockpit and then looks at you again. Ava, get the fuck out here. There is no answer. Corona, get the fuck out of here. 
There is no Boy, we is not there. <laughs> um. <laughs> there is no answer. Fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blueford, I'm going to put you down so I can transform back into normal me. So you put Blueford down. Are you going to take the... Uh, before you transform back, are you going to take the stuff off? Oh, yeah, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Roll yeah, I'm gonna I need you to roll me a um, survival check. Survival. All right. So how how do I do the initiative thing or the inspiration? I'm sorry. So you roll a one d ten, and you add that to whatever check you want. So you would roll a one d ten separate, and then you would roll your check, and then you, your check plus whatever you roll. You put them together. All right, so with the 1d10, I rolled an 8, and you said survival? Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got a nat 20. Plus 1 for you 21, 8. You the mechanism off flawlessly without it contrapping you and doing damage to you. You managed to take it off perfectly and toss it into the back. Hell yeah. Bro, what are these fucking rolls? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. This shit's wild right now. <laughs> oh, You're gonna fuck up later. Oh, it's gonna hit me like a fucking truck. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking bad. Fucking back truck, Jesus. Remember to roll... So you see how your um, skills have an A next to them? Yeah. Remember to roll those with an advantage. Oh, I thought I did it automatically. No, it doesn't. You gotta roll it yourself. Fuck. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna transform back into normal me. So you transform back into your normal self. And then after you do so, Blueford is sitting just waiting patiently. Ah, it's just like waking up on Christmas morning. Anyways... Uh, what do I see? Do I see any, like, tracks that... Roll me investigation. <laughs> I got a 19. Okay. So you see also forgot to apply advantage. <laughs> you see that there are some... You see there are some tracks. And you see that specifically there are... So you see specifically there are sandal tracks similar to Corona's... And you see some dragging tracks, as if he's dragging a body. And then... You see him drag them off to the coastal shore and onto... A more rocky dirt terrain, which is towards the city. Will you continue to follow the footsteps? Yep. Let's, let's go on an adventure, Blueford. Blueford is walking with you. As you walk on into town, you can see the foot tracks get stopped as they are stomped out by whatever foot tracks are along everywhere else. But however, you do see that there is a small market district. You see that you're currently right now within the residential. You see houses of many, all kinds of people walking about daily time right now, early in the morning. You see there is a little bakery up to, well, your perspective up, which is south. You're in the northern part of town. So you're over in the northern part of the residential district, and you can see there's a little bakery down south, and there's also paths down south leading towards the center of town. Will you continue? Or will you try to check around the residential district? Uh, I'm a, I'm a continue. Okay. As you continue down towards the central part of town, you see there is some bakeries, some shops, and a graveyard. You also see that there is a statue, a statue of a woman holding her serpent. 
It's of a very... It's of a woman in a very combat-style dress. And she's holding a serpent as she is holding it towards the sky, as if she's almost looking above. She's surrounded by swords and hammers, as if she was in a battle and she's looking towards the sky. The serpent looks to be almost like a leviathan. Huh. It looks extremely tattered and torn, as if it's been sitting there for a number of years and no one's taken care of it. Why the fuck is nobody taking care of this? This is fucked up. I'm going you, to, uh... You can see there are some candles on it that have been burning for quite some time, as if it's a statue that's being worshipped. But it's still very, very old. And unkept. You said it was covered in vines, right? It's covered in vines and moss, dirt, grimes has withering cracks in it, chips out of it. The stone looks very, very, very weathered. Almost like discoloring a bit. I'm going, I want to pull the vines off of it. Okay. So you pull the Start. vines off, and as you pull the vines off, some of the moss comes down, some of the dirt comes out of the cracks, and you, you pull the vines off. It looks a bit better, a bit dirty still. Still kind of mossy. Discolored still. Cracks and chips in it. But it looks somewhat better. I did that all I did all that I could. You're welcome, people of the city. I am basically your god now. Wow. You can also <laughs> see towards You can also see towards the um, western wall. There is a graveyard. And towards the south of the central town, you can see that there's a number of dwarves walking past. Some going to the docks with their hammers and scuba gear and pickaxes and all kinds of machinery in tow. And then you see some other dwarves carrying axes and small hammers and backpacks leading out to the gate as if they're going out for a chopping or two. And then you see a number of others carrying pickaxes and drills and shovels heading over towards the eastern shore into the I'm southern good. part of town there's more of like a market district as you can also see there's a lot more of like that's where like the business is all right um i'm gonna go towards the cemetery as you head on over towards the cemetery, you can see cemetery. that the gate is open and there is many, many tombstones, many well-fashioned tombstones. Tombstones are made of very much different kinds of rock. They look rather expensive and very lavish. All kinds of different designs chiseled into them. Almost like an expert marksman has been making all of these. And the people that have been resting here have been rather well kept. Where the fuck are they? Blueford, where do you know where they went? Like, like, can you smell them anywhere? Like, come on. I need a I need a little bit of help. Uh, Blueford tries to sniff the ground. Let's see if he can Got a nat 20. Hell yeah. What are these rolls today, man? <laughs> Too good. Too strong. Okay, so... Stiffs himself into another dimension. <laughs> the Blueford knows... He knows where they are. He doesn't know exactly where they are, but he knows the generalness. <laughs> so he, he tugs on your pant leg for you to follow him. All right, let's go, bud. So he's trotting along, sniffing the ground, and he, he's leading you towards the market district. As you enter towards the market district, you see all kinds of businesses, leading from mining operations to forestries to all kinds of armor shops and smith shops. 
lots and lots of them. You also see these pipes sticking out of the ground with sort of like mugs, almost like ale mugs sticking next to them, and what seems to be dispensers of sorts. And then you see all kinds of trays and people walking up to them, and this sluggish sap comes out, and you see people drinking it. This intrigues me. Hey, hey, hello there, fellow uh, citizen of this city that I am totally from. Uh, what is this and how do I acquire? You don't be knowing what this is. I, it is a bit of a delicacy here, but you must be from the outside if you don't know what this is. No, I'm totally from the city. I know exactly what's going on. Hmm. You don't be looking like you're from here. The fuck? <laughs> uh, anyways, where where can I buy that? You don't buy it, you daft wit. Jesus, how much you've been drinking of the stuff? Uh, a lot. I need more. I see. Well, this stuff be piping up from the be piping up from the forest. You see, this be a sap dispenser here. Yeah. Hey, Cut down the trees out from the forest and have to drain all the logs of sap. So we drain all the sap and we mix it with a bit of alcohol and pump it up for the city to drink during the days. That's Hell yeah. A hearty drink. I completely agree. Where can it uh, point me in the direction so I, that I may acquire more? He downs his and then puts the mug back onto the tray. Grab a mug, open up the gator, and put her under the fucking pipe. Hell yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So you oh grab, my fucking God. grab a mug, and as you stick it under the pipe, are you gonna turn the gear next to it? Yep. <laughs> you turn the gear, and slowly but surely, this l almost molassesly you know how thick molasses is? Yep, it's okay. very thick. This very thick, viscous liquid gets slowly pumped out into your mug and it looks almost amberish in color has a deep aroma of pine and mint to it as you also smell alcohol <coughs> hell yeah let's let's down this bad boy thanks friend are you gonna turn the gear off i that would be polite so yes i will turn it off you turn the gear off and it stops and you have a little bit of overflow on your mug as you pick it up to drink it and you taste this, you taste a deep, rich aroma of almost pine, apple, and the smoky flavors of burning tree as you get the sapness and you're instantly hit with the alcohol. Hell yeah. This minorly sweet flavor from the sap as you begin to drink it. You feel completely refreshed and as if you've just eaten a meal. Hell yeah, what a good day. Alright, that was delicious. Here, you can have my mug. I'm, I gotta go find my friends. A constitution save. A constitution save. You got it. Fuck. Oh, that's the first bad roll of the day. That's a 10. Oh, shit. You are drunk off your ass. Hell yeah! It's just like real life. Not again. You are now drunk. And you're now following Blueford, very woozy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you are. You, you find our friends. So he keeps sniffing, and he leads you to a tavern. Uh, like, yes. No, not, not a tavern, and he leads you to an inn. And will you enter this inn? Yeah. <laughs> so you enter the inn, and you're instantly hit with the deepening flavors of something being cooked in the kitchen people are eating in the main like food area and <sighs> blueford walks in and still sniffing and kind of leads you towards the stairway are you gonna follow him yeah ava where are you i sir i believe you be needing a room first if you want to be going up stairs to any of the guests but I think my friends are up there, sir. God. Sir, 
I haven't be seen you anywhere near this goddamn place, and you be saying you got friends up there? You obviously yeah. drunk off your ass. I mean, you're not wrong there, sir, but I have a I have a dog with me here who's the best boy in the world. And what dog? What do you mean what dog? Blueford. You look down and Blueford's gone. <laughs> Oh, you fucking little bastard. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> I, I followed the dog here, and he led me to my friends, who I'm convinced sir, is here. Sir, I think you're a little too drunk to be in here. I... <laughs> Roll of persuasion. Don't gaslight me, bro. You said persuasion? Mm -hmm. Do I still have the inspiration? No. <laughs> Get wrecked me. All right. Oof, that's a five. Sir, I'm gonna have to be. Oh, I outside. knew that one coming right to the I ass. think you're just, just like a truck to be in here. Two, you have like two dwarfs that like grab you by your legs and start shuffling you out towards the door. You guys are really small, but I don't like that you're touching my legs. I will leave willingly this time. But if I find out my friends are here and you're keeping me from them, there will be hell to pay. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. And they, oh my God. They, they shove you out the door and you land face first in the mud. Oh, those guys are fucking dicks. You feel cold, yeah. dirt, and rock. I am not amused by this. Ava. You hear a scratching at the door. Roll me a constitution check. Sorry, constitution All right. save. Alright. That's a dirty 20. You hear scratching, whining, and barking at your door. Is that blue fruit? But she's gonna sit, try to sit up the best she can, and she's gonna use press the digitation to open the door. Does it allow you to open a door? It allows me to do a utility, <laughs> so I open allows the door, to... Okay. move an object. Okay. So you open up a door, and Blueford rushes in, dolts and decks you back onto the bed. God, Blueford, hi, hi, baby. Uh... He's I'm pinning still a little you, hurt. He, he pins you down and starts licking your face furiously. Uh, Blueford, I love you too. Okay, okay, down, boy, down, down, down. Okay. Gonna, She's still uh, pretty hurt, so she can't do much. Romeo strength save. Me? Yeah. Shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a seven. You got a 19. Damn, he's pinning me down. Yep. Luther, I love you, but please. I'm still hurting. He's laying on top of you and licking you. So heavy. Luther, how did you even get here? You were... We left you in the mech. He how barks, did you get here? He barks loudly. Woof. Ruff. Ruff. It's... Is someone here with you? Biff. Um. Biff, bark, bark, Biff. She's gonna kind of look around and like start thinking, like, the only person I'd be able to get this fool here would be. Is Corn here? <laughs> he kind of like, like nudges into you and like. Puts his paw and like kind of starts like slapping your chest with his paw. Ow, ow, not the, not the tits. Okay, okay, okay. It's corn. <laughs> Corn's like, here. Is that what you think? Barks again. Bark, biff, biff, bark. Woof. He, okay, okay, I bat, get it. He starts batting on your chest again. <laughs> okay, okay, now those are boobs. You can stop now. Okay, got it. Got it. You're not here alone. Good. Okay. Oh, fuck. 
you gotta get up if I'm supposed to, you know, get people here. I can't have you laying on me. He gets up and then lays on Krona instead. Oh, big, big guy. Well, I get myself up <coughs> since it's been what? It would have been a day or two, right? So far? It's been about two days. Okay, so I'm not totally in fucked up shape. I'm like halfway there. I'm going to get up and go towards... You can walk, you cannot sprint, you cannot run, you cannot dash. And if you get hit in the legs, you're taking crits. Okay. I Is there a window in the room? There is a window. Okay. I'm going to lit my happy ass over to the window. And I'm going to look out the window. As you look out the window, you can see there is a number of people walking about their day in the market. In... You know, the market district and people just going about their merry way. You can also see outside the window that there is a man out in the street covered in mud and looks very suspiciously like Corin, which is drunk. Okay, she's I gonna agree. kinda. Can I use prestidigitation to open the window? You could just open the window. Okay, I'm gonna open the window. And she's gonna call out, Corin, is that you? God, is that you? So it's me again. Corin, as you look up to this white, to, to the sky and light, you you hear a female's voice calling out for you. Saloon, is that you? You also hear, Ava, as you're shouting. You feel a slight chill as the cold breeze hits your naked tits and body as some of the dwarves look up and see a naked woman standing, screaming out into the streets for some man and just a naked teeth I'm gonna like realize this cause I'm like, oh, cold titties look down, oh fuck and she's gonna crouch down really quick <laughs> The door is still open, as there are some people looking in through the doorway, just kind of looking at you. She's gonna like turn around and she's like, "Oh, what the fuck? go away!" And use press digitation to like slam the door close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know I was naked. Oh fuck. Mm. You woke okay. up. Why would you not be naked? I mean, that's true. I use it. Corin, what, what, what do you think it was? Uh, I'm convinced that uh, it, due to my drunken state, I am convinced that Saloon, my former goddess, is trying to take me back. <laughs> that's what I think it is. Oh my god, fucking stupid. Yep, he's drunk. <laughs> Very drunk. So what will you do? Uh, Saloon, what do you want from me? How do I come back? Talk to me, damn it. She's gonna poke her head out. Like, she's, her head is enough to where she's not showing herself, but her head is poking out enough to where she can still you. And she's like, Corn, you dumbass. No, not your god. It's Ava, look up! Karin looks up, slightly confused and dazed. You <laughs> still, hey! You still only see light. Where is that coming from? Oh, god damn it! She... It's so she, bright. Because remember, Corin, you're, you're face down. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just roll over on my back and look up. You see... A semi half naked tiefling out of the window yelling. Holy out. shit, there's a naked chick in the window! Hey, but look! It's pretty cool! She's gonna fucking cover herself. Like, no, you dumbass! Oh my god! Corn, it is me! It's Ava! Get your dumbass up here! I. They're gonna kick me out again! Oh, uh, I. Okay, fine. Just... He didn't believe me. I told him. He's a fucking asshole. The bar guy is a dick. I hate him. And I'm going to kill him in a minute. I told Shut him. up. 
corn. Just just shut up. Don't do anything. Right, Give me a minute. Right. I'll be I'll be I'll be down. Give me a minute. God all right. Me. I will lay here in the street. She's gonna close the window and go back to the bed. Roll me and... a Constitution check, Corin. Oh my God, I'm naked. Okay, she's gonna go to the window. She's what gonna go back corn? to the bed. That's, that's a thirteen. Oh my god. You're, you're getting kicked and stepped on. Yeah, you, get, you people are assholes. Leave me alone. <laughs> Can't a drunk man sit in the mud for no reason for fuck's sake. You oh, are taking no. five damage. Because you're getting kicked and stepped on. Thank, thanks, townspeople. You people are fucking great. Very welcoming into your fucking city. Ava, what we do? I'm just... She is going to um, look around the room for something she could put on really quick. And only seeing the sheet, so she is going to wrap gonna... herself. Are you just going to put your equipment on? Well, yeah. She... Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, she's going to put her equipment back on. She's going to get dressed gingerly so she doesn't fucking hurt herself. And... You gingerly and slowly put your armor on. And you're in about 30 minutes. Alright. You, you have your shit back on. I need to roll for uh, our friend outside. Alright. You're taking 15 so. extra damage, by the way. <clears throat> from getting kicked and stepped on as you're still kind of <laughs> rolling and laying in the mud. I hate these people. These people are evil. She's just like, oh my god. I, so I'm she, pissed off now. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to uh, come down. She still has the key in her hand. So she's like, yeah, she's going to break. And um, she's going to gingerly walk out. You come out dressed walk in hellfire armor. And what are you going to do? She's going to walk downstairs. You come out dressed out in your full armor. And just walk you're downstairs and she's gonna look at the dwarf and she's like i have a friend who is drunk who is outside that I for a moment I oh so dead. that what is your friend out there yes it was well i'm okay. gonna go get him and i'll mm. be here uh, okay you didn't s no one said Never mind. She goes outside. She sees corn. She literally grabs him by his dirty foot and starts pulling him inside. Roll Come on, a, you drunk little roll, shit. Roll me a strength save. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, that's a three. I can't pull shit. You cannot pull him. She's gonna, like, tug on his shirt. Like, Come all on, right. you drunk asshole. Let's go. Alright, alright. I'm coming. I'm coming. She's gonna yeah. lead him back so, up to the room. Corn, as you get up, you are now covered in mud. Uh, that that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go back inside, Ava, so I can yell at the fucking bar guy for kicking me out. Shut up! You're not yelling at anybody. I'm Shut yelling at him. He deserves it. He's an asshole for kicking me out. I said I had a friend here. Just Corn. Corn's yelling as he's walking into the fucking door. <laughs> Ava's just kind of like shaking her head, still trying to pull him along. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's drunk. Drunk people shit. Okay. Yeah, and barman, aka dead man. I'm fucking my friend. Here you go. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Corn, shut the fuck up. You no, he, he deserves to be all that. I told you I had a friend here. I was knocked out. Cronus, no. Move along, whatever. You drunken bastard. Yeah, whatever, dickhead. Ava's gonna roll her eyes and just pull him upstairs and go back to the. I'm going to follow. While also flipping the barman the 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 middle finger. So as you get upstairs back into the room, you see that Blueford is on the bed, on like this nice bed covering Corin, 
with his body. You mean Corona? Yeah. Okay. Corona with his well, body. Thanks, Blueford, for not laying on me anymore. You're a good boy. Next time, you don't need to need my <laughs> boobs, okay? He's gonna pat him on the head, though. Your boobs have been scratched. I know. <laughs> Are you gonna shut the door behind you? Yes. Corin, roll me another constitution save. <laughs> Uh, that's a 12. You're slowly recovering from your drunkenness. I'd say you're just tipsy. Oh, yeah. uh, cool. So, uh, what the fuck happened to you? You look like shit right now. Fucking Corona. <laughs> you're gonna take off some of her armor so that way she can move a little bit. Um, fuck that. She's just gonna get naked and, like, grab the blanket and put it over her because all right. so, it's, Corin, e it's easier. You just see this woman say, like, oh, hold on, and she just starts stripping off all of her armor and all of her clothing and everything, and then grabs a blanket and puts it over her body. Corin sighs, just while, like, glaring at her. What? Anyways. Have you no modesty, woman? Jesus Christ. Or goddesses. Fuck. Uh whatever <laughs> you know what you're a fallen angel so shut the fuck up anyways oh damn anyways corona that dumb bitch over there stepped on me with the fucking mech after i fell and tried to heal myself <laughs> which i did a good job at first and then fucking stepped on me so he brought me here so that way my bones could you know get put back together so that's why I'm all casted up, because that dumbass doesn't know how to drive a mech. Damn, I thought you, I'm surprised you're into that kind of thing, but that's a bit extreme in my opinion. With, you know? I, I hate you. Corrin <sighs>, <laughs>, laughs. You're a dick, okay? Yup, that's what they tell me. Anyways, I can't do anything for the next two more days until fucking I'm healed up. Like, I can't I can only use my, you know, cantrips and that's it. So borderline useless. Got it. You know what? Look here, you little shit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's She's be gonna... honest. She's gonna glare at him and look away. Oh, well, let's be honest. You're you've got way more going for you than I do right at this moment because I'm drunk, kinda. Obviously. Hey. Disgustingly dirty too. Hey, blame the bar guy who apparently I'm not allowed to yell at. I fucking told that guy I should burn down. I should burn this fucking place to the ground. I just want you to know that. I should, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh... Don't. I swear on everything that is unholy, I will fucking shove <laughs> my right here up your ass. No. I already said I wasn't going to, but I should. Stop. On, pr on principle, I should. <laughs> uh, stop. Anyways. We're going to be here for a while. That's oh, all you got to know. Boy. So I can't do anything. So if you guys go out and get yourself hurt, can't nobody heal you. Yeah, you know, that's fine. So what what are you gonna do, Corn? Um I'm gonna go walk around the marketplace because sitting around in a room seems really boring. So I'm gonna walk around for a while. Maybe get more drunk, maybe not get more drunk. We'll see what happens. My no, 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 no. You're not my mom. I do what no. I want. Come here, you little bitch. She's going to pull out her whip and no. with their good Corrin, hand. Corrin's going to fucking stand up and like strut, pimp walk out. Boy, get your... Oh, uh, fuck. <sighs> not doing shit to me. Are you going to take Blueford with you? 
Uh, if Blueford wants to come with me, he may. So he jumps down. And... I need you to make a deck save, Ava. Oh no! <laughs> Why did you have to jump on me? Wait, before before I actually stride out, I want to say, hey, give me some money. <laughs> 21. Okay, you managed to dodge as he bolts straight through your legs. You managed not to fall. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Blueford. Jesus. Lord. You just, feel, um... you just feel a tail caress your ass in your snatch. <laughs> As he runs between your legs. Ooh, how lewd. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna be like, oh fuck. Gonna lean forward, her hands like going Ugh. between her legs almost as if to cover herself. It's too late, he's already on the other side of her. He's like, the fuck? So Bluford is standing and like sitting down and like waiting for you, Corin. Hey. Ava, give me some money so I can go give go get you like some medicine or some shit. I got medicine, smart ass. I'm not giving you shit. Here, give, all right, give... give me money regardless. Then why? Because... I don't have to take care of you. No, but I'm trying to take care of you. Uh, here's fifty gold. Here, there. Uh, <laughs> thank you. There's your allowance, you little shit. Allowance. <laughs> Alright, cool. Whatever. I'll take it. Yoink. He's gonna sit in the chair that says no and just let him leave. Don't start any trouble. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Shut up! So, <laughs> as you exit the door <clears throat> with a pouch of gold, some people are looking at you and giving you a weird look as... You entered, and they know there's a naked woman in there, and you exited with some gold. The fuck y'all looking at? I want to. I want to roll intimidation on that one. I'm probably right. like, wait, is that a tip? Or something? <laughs> That's a twenty-one with a tip on intimidation. You, you've intimidated them. They are scared. All right, that's what I fucking thought. Corn just walks out like a fucking badass. They just, ass. they just like kind of cower and like, like kind of like just kind of back up and walk away quickly into their room. Don't judge people on what they do, okay? Anyways, so as I'm gonna go. The, as you shut the door behind you, blue fur follows. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Let's go take a bath. I want to take a bath. I want to not be muddy and stinky. Okay, where are you going to take a bath at? Uh, barman. What do you want? Where the fuck can I take a bath? Well, considering you just came from a room, you could have done it in there, but we got a bathhouse. Uh, I'll take the bathhouse, please and thank you. Five gold per entry. Or you could let me go in for free. Five gold per entry. All right, this I'm gonna be. In, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm intimidate. I'm gonna intimidate him now. I, I want the free entry. God damn it. Cord, you're a dick. That's an eighteen. On intimidation, eighteen. Okay, so you you barely beat him. <laughs> Still beat him. Fine, yeah, I'm going fine. in there for free. Fine, I I guess I can allow you to go in for free. Thanks, bud. So he tosses you a towel and a bar of soap, and he directs you back to the washroom. Thank you, good sir. I appreciate your hospitality. So as you walk into the washroom, you find this giant metal like tub along with 
a hose and a um a uh, almost like a coal bin connected with a metal hose to the tub. And it's in like a large room with a bunch of drains around it. Hell yeah. Alright, Blueford, let's take a bath, my boy. Are you gonna strip? Yep. Okay, you strip down and Blueford is trying to take off his armor when he can. Uh, let me help you out there, bud. I got you. <laughs> so you take off his leather with uh, his studded leather dog armor off. So you're both naked. Hell yeah. Well, that's so, a nudity in this session. Hell as, yeah. As you get in the tub and you crank the lever, hot water begins to pour out of this kind of coal stack here that's next to the tub where it pumps the cold water in through the coals and then out through the pipe. Uh, Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. So Bathing in the tub. It's slowly filling up with water. Hell yeah. As it's doing so, you're just taking your bath and cleaning all your grimy bits with Blueford kind of sitting in the tub with you, dunking his head in the water and squishing and wishing. I'm gonna scrub on him, too. <laughs> so you scrub a bar of soap on Blueford, and he seems to like it well enough. It's Hell really yeah. Blueford's getting scrubbed. His, his fur is mangy and kind of naughty and kind of grimy still from past adventure. Let's get you cleaned up, boy. You need it just as well, just as bad as I do. Are you going to uh, be cleaning your clothes as well? Yeah. Okay. I need to not be muddy. <laughs> There's a separate um, like clothing wash rack for that. Eh, we'll do that after the bath. I'm just going to, you know, walk around naked for a while. It's cool. So as you clean up Blueford and yourself, I need you to roll me a um, animal handling for Blueford. Oof, that's a six. You you managed to like kind of pull on his knots a bit and not do a very good job, and he bites you. Ow! I'm sorry. God. Don't bite me too hard, please. A 19 That's video. what you get. Uh, 19? Yeah. You're bit for six damage. Damn it. <laughs> That's what you get, you little shit. I didn't do anything! He yips and he bites your hand. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to help you be clean. Like, I understand it probably doesn't feel good. I'm not good at this. I've never had a pet. Roman I have a hand. Roll me another animal handling. Oh, thank God. That's a 19. Okay, you managed to do a better job this time as you managed to kind of like soothe him in the hot water and scrub against his knots and kind of make his fur wet and all soapy. Hell yeah. You're going to be a clean boy. Kind of like rolling around in the water in the giant tub and splashing and splish splashing. Splish splash, we was taking a bath. <laughs> Roll me another animal handling check. Uh, that's the 12 this time. Okay. Uh, he's not super comfortable with you, like, washing him, but he allows it anyways. As you kind of like wash him and get the water and the dirt and grime out of him. This will be worth it in the long run, buddy. I promise. He jumps out and like kind of fluffs and shakes all the water out like a dog does. You're a soft boy. A little floofy now. You're a fluffy, fluffy puppy. That's what you are. Take your bath and the rest of the dog water. Are you gonna make? Uh, I'm gonna... I'll make new water. Fuck it. So you drain the water out, and then you slowly wait for the water to kind of... Like... Go back in. This takes about another 30 minutes. 
<laughs> so, 30 minutes passed. An hour has passed, and you've washed yourself. Um, as you get out of the tub, Blueford has been trying to, like, make his fur go back down. Are you gonna, like, kinda dry him out and, like, help him get his armor back on? Yeah, I will do that. So as he brushes fur down, you help reattach his armor. And he shakes a little bit as he's still kind of wet, but, you know, he's he's doing okay. You're a good boy. Are you gonna, Best boy, even. Are you going to wash your clothing now? Yep, I'm going to let I'm gonna hang down and let everybody see me. So as you wash your clothing, there is some temporary clothing in the room. Nope. I'm gonna hang dong. So you have your wet clothing now that's what hanged the fuck? up. That it is hanged up in the dry room right now. Are you gonna cover up with a towel or are you just gonna Nope, up? I'm gonna hang dong. <laughs> I'm committed now. Yes, oh walk, my god! As you walk out of the dry room, you're hanging dong with your little dog buddy but next to you with his armor on. Hell yeah. Sir, go put some clothing back on. I don't think I will. I'm waiting for my clothing to dry. So where to God, fucking so, harping on me, and you're walking out fucking just dick squeaking. He got a. Uh... <laughs> I'm girthy too, apparently. <laughs> so, if I remember correctly, you have what? You have just a nine-inch dick, but you're like. I'm like girth. I'm like six inch, six inches girth. I'm girthy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're I see myself as a fucking Chad. <laughs> okay, fucking Chad, throw it a towel, Jesus. No, why would I? I'm proud of what I got. Go back to your room, sir. Oh, so you want me to walk all the way back up there, completely naked? Better All than right. hanging your jewels out for the dry. So, yeah, you want me to walk all the way back upstairs in front of all those people up there naked, because I refuse to put clothing on. The people are in the dining room, which is in a whole separate room from this. Oh, okay. Oh, I, th I thought I would have to, like, walk past them. That's what no, I imagined, no. at least. Nope. All right. All right, barman, you you've won this round. I will I will go to my room as I wait for my clothing to dry. So you go back up to your room, and as you walk back in the door, Ava, you see a naked man walk into your room. It is Corin and a fluffy dog with his armor on. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? He's gonna look up and be like, "Oh, good God!" Okay, Corin. You are a fucking hypocrite. I got naked, and you're like, oh, I should be decent. Yet you walk your ass in here fucking dick swinging. <laughs> and... Yeah, I thought that would be funny. And it was. You're an asshole. That's all I gotta say. I, you're 100% you're correct. I am. And I'm goddamn proud of that. Fucking... So... She's, like, literally looking at it, like... The fuck? It's okay. In front of you, it's Ava, intimidating. No. You, you see a nine-inch-long dick that is six inches in girth. <laughs> however, like... it's not, however, it is not the largest that you've seen. That title goes it's... to Oberon, where it is. A... It's the girthiest one, though. Actually, Oberon is still girthier. Oh, for real? Fuck. Okay. Hope Run has a one inch long cock. Heavy you said, wait, you said. No, one he inch. had a foot long dick. Yeah, foot long dick. And seven inches in curve. Good for him. She's still gonna be like, what the fuck? How does that be? Like. It's okay. It's okay to be intimidated by it. I understand. Every, I'm everybody's not intimidated, intimidated by it. it. I'm just like, I never thought an angel would have a dick that big. I'm just saying. Hey, I. Hey. Blessings come in all sizes, shapes, and sizes. <laughs> oh my god. I just oh didn't think an angel would be packing a fucking sawed off shotgun in his pants. <laughs> Corin just stands there very proud of what he's packing. 
like puts yeah. ha hands on the hips and like a Bluford, like a superhero pe pose so, kind of. But Blueford doesn't know why you're standing proud, but he like he like stands proud next to you. That's a good boy. You understand? Oh God, Blueford, no, <laughs> no, it's, oh no. So it's yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought the whole modesty thing would have been funny earlier. I don't really give a fuck if you're <laughs> naked or not. You're an asshole, just gotta say. I mean, I completely understand. Ugh. At least I'm fucking still wrapped up in a blanket. You're Good just fucking you. dicking jewels out. Just I will slap this fucking thing on the table with no fucks given right now. Oh my god, please don't do that. You'll probably break the damn table. Yes. <laughs> oh, we should try that. I'm waiting for my clothes to try that. Hmm. Do not. I'm gonna. She's gonna like look at him like okay, just blade. So, roll me an unarmored strike with disadvantage. Oh my god. <laughs> so roll me the unarmored strike hit DC with disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. This is equals nineteen. No. So, you see your DC. For an unarmored strike? Yeah. Yeah, roll with disadvantage. What'd you get? Uh. Wait. I think I'm having a stroke or a brain fart. One of the two. Okay, so for your unarmored strike, you see the hit DC, it's the number with the plus. Oh, yeah. You right click on it, you hit disadvantage, and then you hit roll. Yeah, I did that. And it, and it said the 3, 6, okay. plus 11 equals 19. This time it says 14, but the first one said 19. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I didn't see that, sorry. So, Let's go. you hit the table with your cock. Roll me damage. No! I think it's just a flat 6. Yep, so... You hit the table with your dick and you crack it. Hell yeah! Oh god. Didn't break it, but that's good enough for me. Why? Powerful. Oh my god. Are you impressed? Because I sure as fuck am. I don't know if I should be impressed or embarrassed. It's okay to be both. I understand. Oh my god, I fucking hate you, Cord. I swear to god. No, you don't. Hey, remember... I was sent here with a purpose because of you. I want you to know that. You were sent here to, as you said, it just protect you, nothing else. Uh, this is correct. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. Huh. Well, hey, at least we're having a good time, right? High five. Corin goes to for a high five. She goes to just immediately flip him off. That's okay, I wasn't going to high-five you anyways. I was going to pull it away. Fuck you. <laughs> She's just kind uh, of, like, leaning in the chair, one hand, like, on her knee, just, like, because now he's standing in front of her with his dick on the table. And it's just, like, right in front of her face. And she just like... <laughs> it's okay, close your mouth. Your mouth is wide open. It's okay to be amazed. <laughs> is this going to be the second orgy episode? No. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being a fucking dick for no reason. <laughs> I don't see her just being like, unless someone put a spell on her and made her do it, I think these two between her and Korn, they will probably never be. I... Unless there was a spell involved. Corin, Corin doesn't actually give a shit about I mean, you, you know having your, sex I mean, or anything first, like that. The only time, the only first time you fucked is because you put an amber dehiac on Oberon. That's true. Nice. I didn't do that on purpose. You did with okay, hesitation. You did it on purpose. Don't fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Corin doesn't really give a shit about any of that. He just likes, he just thinks things are funny, and this is one of those things that's just absolutely hilarious to him. 
she she's won't just gonna me. just like sit back and just shake her no, head. She's like, can you at least take it off the table? Because it's gonna be around an hour or two for your clothes to dry. Time to take a short rest. Are you guys gonna do anything in the short rest? Ava's gonna like press to digitate, use her press digitation to like just poke it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? She's gonna poke your dick. You just uh, press digitation. I need you hey, <laughs> a wisdom say corn. It's right there. It's a fucking eleven. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. You are now overcome with horniness. Oh no. Because you now want to fuck something. Oh no. Oh my god, no! Why was this fucking This is a setup! <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> god damn it! What will you do? <laughs> oh no! So, uh, hey, uh. Just gonna throw this out there. <laughs> I can't even like do it for real. I can't. I can't do it with a straight face. <laughs> Ava, in front of you, see Corin with just this hard on now. As you've been poking his dick over and over again with press digitation, which has backfired. I uh, I really wish you would stop. You know, assaulting my dick. That'd be great, because now uh, you've done something. That I feel like, just, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. She's gonna stop you. you. You've done a bad thing. I want you to know. Uh, apparently, I was only poking it. Look, I'm, I'm very shy. <laughs> oh, you're shy now. You're fucking shy. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Your mind might be shy, but your dick is fucking throbbing like Look, <laughs> like a heartbeat. Look, you okay? did this. Like fucking what do you want from me? I didn't do anything. Uh, I you... just randomly poked it like three times. Yeah. It... And that is it. Look, this thing has a mind of its own. I got I gotta fucking do something now. Number five hentai plots. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I need an adult. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. What will you do, Ava? It'd be like. Uh, not my fault, not my problem. You can see, I'm kind of broken right now. And I don't think voting an angel is gonna fix So. Uh. Uh, you can go into the bathroom and whack off. No, that's not good enough. What do you mean it's not good enough? You it's... got two hands, bro. Yeah, two hands, that's not enough. There's, I gotta go. Corn's gonna leave very quickly. Barman, whores, now! So, he can be I heard you, from the outside I of the need room. I you to try to open up the door because it is not your door, it's Ava's door. What the hell? So, um... Oh, yeah. Release me. What do you mean, release you? I'm not keeping you here. I can't leave. Why? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I, I want to open up the door. Okay, how about this? I will come open the door, but you have to remove, like... Maneuver that dick away so I can go to the door and open it. Cause... You'd be happy I'm not drunk. That's all I'm gonna say. I'd slap you with my fucking dick. That's how angry I am right now. Oh, good God. Just maneuver the dick out the way, okay? I'm sorry. It's fucking massive. This thing has a mind of its own. How am I supposed to get past you to open the I door? I Walk. <laughs> Yeah. I can walk, but I can't bend down. I'm gonna say use like you could use me as like a crutch. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god, just open up the door. I can't. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna open up the door. 
back away from the door, I'll open it. She's gonna get close enough to where she can use prestidigitation to open the fucking door. I read your spell and you can't use prestidigitation to open up doors. Oh, fuck. You create instantaneous harmless sensory effects such as shower of sparks or a puff of wind, musical notes and odor, instantaneous life, snuff out a candle, or a campfire, you can instantaneously clean soil and object larger than oh, the shit, food, okay. and chill warm flavor, sun, okay. color. Okay, never mind. We found so out that you can use aphrodisiacs for presentation, technically. Oh no, okay, I'm not doing that. That's uh, gonna no. Um she's gonna she's gonna look at him as like just move keep your dick on the table, okay? I will walk I, around <laughs> you. I will not listen to you. Quorum pulls his dick off the table. Oh god. Now it's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's intimidating, I know. I understand. No. Are you gonna open up the door, Ava? I'm going to try to maneuver myself and it's not around. The most boring porn scene in the world. <laughs> Shut up! I'm gonna maneuver I, around him. I think it's funny that you tried to set this up. <laughs> I did try to set this up. You fucking use precipitation to poke his dick. That's how this shit works. <laughs> Lord, like we're gonna be here for thirty minutes, so it's like an hour. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> It's like something uh, has to happen. But like, I'm just you. You've made poor decisions on this day. I so made poor decisions on the time. Open up the door. All right, barman, whores, now. <laughs> For this isn't a fucking bar in here. It's an inn. Get your naked ass either back with your clothes on, or get it back inside with your fucking female friend. If you want a whore, go fuck her. Oh, hold up. Hold up, barman. You are talking to the wrong lady. All right? He's Dick gonna, swinging around. He, he's going to try to intimidate you. Oh, oh my he's going to intimidate me. Ava's just, like, trying to hide in the room. She's just, like, hiding. Like, oh, my God, no. I, I'm going to intimidate him with, with the power of my dick. <laughs> what? So she no. got a... 26 for intimidation. Holy shit. I don't... Do I roll something for that? <laughs> if you want to counter it, you gotta roll persuasion. Persuasion? You got it. Oh, no. I'm, uh... I'm scared. What'd you get? I got a 9. <laughs> Yeah, so he's ordering you to either get your clothes. If you want a whore, go fuck her. You want a whore, go well, fuck no. your friend and get back in that damn room. Oh no, please don't say that. Like, All you right. hear Ava's voice. No, not that feet. Alright, man, you you got it. I'll, I'll just go back in there. And, you man. go back into the room and you close the door. Uh, that was he's really scary right now. Ava's low key like <laughs> cowering in the chair just like I, Please just go jack off in the bathroom or something. I, I I don't I don't know what to do. I'm scared. He's he told me what to do and I don't like being told what to do, but like he told me what to do and now I'm scared. Okay, I'm telling you what to do. Go jack off in the bathroom. You're not scary like he is. <laughs> oh god. She's like thinking, oh my god, <laughs> if that man's word is in my fate, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I'm gonna be broken for another two days. Oh fuck, I'm gonna be here for a week. If you, oh. Did you wanna did you wanna try to command him, Ava? Uh, yes. Roll me intimidation, please, Ava. Please save me. Oh, let's hope. Oh, I'm good at intimidation. Okay. Oh, that's a 33. Oh, so boy. you are commanded to go into the bathroom and jack off. This is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> but Look at you, yeah, angel you, motherfucker. Yeah, you go got it. Go into the bathroom and jack that shit off until it's no longer alive. You're, you're dumb. Okay? Okay. Has okay. Commanded you. okay. 
Uh, why is everyone all of a sudden? You go into the Bard starts into, to cry. You go you go into the bathroom and you're crying and you jack off for your two hours. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> me. Dummy, That's it, you whitey bitch. Dummy, dummy, tiefling, and Corin. Corin, <laughs> stubby little femboy. Corin, the guy who intimidated an abolith, is terrified of a tiefling all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> A tiefling with fucking mommy milk or nothing. Oh my goodness. Thick <laughs> goth GF. Pretty much. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. All right, I got. I gotta be. I gotta go for like twenty minutes, like IRL. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I'm not actually gonna hey, do uh, that. Corin, yeah. what are you gonna do? Your your clothing has been delivered to your door. So, Corin, you can put your clothing on now. I'm, I'm gonna wipe the tears away with, <laughs> with my elbows, and uh, I'm gonna walk out of the bathroom <laughs> with a ton of shame. <laughs> and Ava's just gonna be sitting there dying, laughing. Just, oh, the tears of a fallen angel. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go let my cat in beer be. Okay. This is fucking hysterical. <laughs> Tears of a an angel. Oh, they're great. Get your fucking clothes. They're outside the door. Shut up. I don't want to. You will listen to me, you bitch. Okay. Stop yelling at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't make a... me pull out the whip. No. Whoa. Hold up. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> no one can help you here. Oh no. Okay, so because they're all the trouble to avoid it. You guys got all your <laughs> on. Are you guys gonna go outside? You gonna do something or? She is gonna get on her. She's gonna get put on her normal adventure clothing, not her. You're just gonna put your adventure clothing on. You're not gonna put your armor on. Oh, well, I might as well put my armor on. Okay, we'll so leave. Put your, put your Hellfire armor on. And you leave your room. You're all fully geared out. Is Blueford with us, or is he still yeah. going to stay with? Blueford is okay. still with you. Before we leave, I'm going to write a note to Corona and say that we're going to the market. Okay. And leave the note there and head out to the room and head downstairs. You head downstairs. He says, did you like your fucking whore? Hey, man, that's not very nice. You take that oh, back. Did... Don't worry, we didn't fuck. Don't tell anybody what happened. Hmm? Oh, it's obvious, you didn't... it's obvious you didn't fuck. I heard a lot of crying up there. So tell me, boy, <laughs> are you just one of those little bitch boys? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna look at him and just start chuckling. Just, <laughs> I oh, would like to leave now. Thank you. Anyway. You exit the tavern. <laughs> Fucking and... bitch! I still got a free bath. <laughs> and Ava is just gonna <laughs> bust out laughing. Oh, you, fuck! As you exit the tavern, you can see there is a number. There's two armor shops, a component shop as well as a bar and that's about it for the market district besides like a bakery and such. Good. I need alcohol. <laughs> this has been a traumatic experience. I need to be drunk. You see that there is a couple of sap stations around as well. No, you don't. We don't need you drunk anymore. Hey. Shut, shut up. up. <laughs> she puts her hand, she puts her good hand on her whip. He's like, don't make me make you a new collar with this. Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. Roll intimidation. No, I'm sorry. That's a 23. She's going to be like be glaring at him. Uh, I'm a, uh, so I roll persuasion, right? Yeah. Please, for the love of God. I got a 22. What the fuck? 
All right, all right, stop. You got it. Well, my you bad. Would you a nat 20 or a dirty 20? Dirty. Uh, I rolled an 18 plus 4. Okay. So, you are intimidated to not. Get drunk. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, you got this. I'm sorry. Uh, let's move on. That's what I fucking thought. Are you going to go uh, to one of the armor shops? Yeah, I... actually. Yes, I was Which actually going to say one. What are the two that we have to offer again? You have a armor shop that has a nautical sea look to it, and you have an armor shop that has like a mining kind of shop look to it. Uh, I think I want to go to the nautical one. As you approach, I... as you approach closer, do you what, what, which room are you going to, Corn? I was going to go into the miner mining one. So as you both approach, you see that there is people arguing outside. And they're saying, Ah, oh, you blasted miners! You've always been fucking up our underwater aquaticness. And then the... You see, you hear as well, Oh, oh yes, like I'm always going to be fucking up your water. You're not pumping our gases or making the earthquakes down there. I know what your fucking miners are doing. And you see, folk... You're fucking up our minds and shit. Oh, and he's making the earthquakes to always kill off our time, so you don't have to be doing that. Oh, yes, I know how it be, you fucking assholes. I haven't done any of the sort. My seam operations under the water are perfectly safe, and we don't cause any earthquakes or sulfur ruptures in your minds. You just be so fucking bad at mining that that's all you can be doing. On the other hand, you'd be leaking oil into the ocean. I am done none such thing. We as the miners are clean, and we keep it clean. We do the surface mining. You don't even get down to the oil. You want to keep listening? Yes. Corin? Uh... Shut no, Corn's Korn, gonna fucking go shopping. He doesn't give a shit about any of this. So, as so you're gonna keep listening, you, you keep hearing the oil has been polluting all the fish in the water, and you'd be saying it isn't part of your kind of said, oh, yes, because where does all the oil come from? All oh, the surface mines. And where does the oil come from now? The water seems like you'd be polluting and making all the fish and fishy creatures becoming on land. Could be your goddamn fault, you fucking miners. Oh yes, and it isn't our fault that all no the sulfur mine. But all the sulfur's been exploded and earthquakes been happening in our mines. Oh, it's not cold like you've been tripping in the fault mines underneath the water or bashing the salt into our caves. Ah, yes, because that isn't our fault. No, no. Fuck off with ya. So, Corin, you enter the shop for the miners. Uh, that is pretty cool armor. Hey. Welcome to the mining shop, lad. Are you new to surface mining? Uh, yeah. Sure. Surface when... mining be a very respectable job here. You go underneath the rock, and you carve it up, getting up your gold, your silver, and your all kinds of good stone. You be mining for oil, trying to bring it up for all the petroleum and mountain workers over near the mountain areas to get all the robots and shit to work. Oh, uh, that's cool. Do you have anything for, like, combat or like fighting well considering that we don't do much of selling of that but we do have a few things on sale that you might be liking we have some ring mail chain mail a few splints in plate mail huh interesting So what do you have is right now is armor. Uh, right now my armor is scale mail. Okay. 
have so plates mail is heavier than scale mail chain mail is heavier and so is ring mail <laughs> uh, the only armor i have like proficiency in is light and medium so to give you like kind of like a uh, description ring mail is made of like that it's like the standard like chain mail of like under armor uh chain mail is really thick rings and layers and layers of it over crossed and then plate armor is just your standard breastplate armor yeah uh is any of it medium armor or is it all heavy armor uh breastplate armor is heavy armor i believe chainmail should be medium Does it, is it and ring better? Is light. Chain mail, I think, is better than scale mail. I was going to say, what's the armor class on it? Because mine is 14. <coughs> um, let me see. Real quick. So. Chainmail has an armor class base of 16. Ah, uh, my good man. How much is this uh, chainmail? And ringmail is heavy armor as well, but it has an armor class of 14. Nice. Chainmail uh, is also heavy armor. You can get a charge, oh, however, for uh, medium armor in that 13 armor class. Oh, well, that's not better than my scale mail, so I'll probably take nothing then. So the thing that would be reduced is you'd have reduced stealth if you took heavier armors that you're not proficient with. Yeah, I'm not proficient with uh, heavy armor, so I'm not going to acquire that. I mean, the thing is, is stealth a big thing for you? No. Uh, Korn is like the anti Akudama. He, he he is not stealthy. Then you wouldn't have anything to worry about with Jane. Oh my gosh. Not stealthy. Great. So I yeah. didn't come to a conclusion yet, Lord. Um, I think I will take nothing, good sir. Thank you very much. You seem like the battling type. I might imagine might want at least a breastplate or at least some chain mail. You don't seem you know like you, you don't seem like you'd be sneaking around much. You're right, I don't. I like to fucking fight my battles head on like a bull. Because I am strong like bull. So that is yes. How oh much chainmail? <laughs> How much cost? Tell me now. I'm much? good with words. Okay. You want the plate mail or chain mail? Tell me about the chain mail, my good sir. The chain mail is a wonderful piece of armor. It has chains connected to chains that are layered amongst each other. The layers of chains allow for a wonderfully plated armor. It'll make even the most deadliest of foes at least flinch back with a sword or two. However, if you'll be looking for the ultimate combat uniform, then I would recommend that you get yourself some plate mail. The plate mail can stand up against all kinds of creatures. It's sharpened and digits of interlocked metal plates covering the entire body. A suit includes gauntlets and heavy leather boots, along with a visored helmet and thick layers of padded underneath the armor. Great for underneath the travels of the iron. Yeah, believe it or not, I still have to keep a uniform for my job, so, like, I'll just take the chainmail. How much is the chainmail? Okay, whatever you say, lad. Chainmail is 75 gold. Oh, I'm broke. I gotta go. <laughs> you still have a... <laughs> now you have a... How much gold do you have? 65. Oh, I only gave him 50 gold. Maybe, and we I only... do, maybe we can do a bit of bargaining. Oh? Oh, really? What you wanna... What, what you want? I got 
Do you want to buy a hand crossbow? <laughs> you got one of those. You like weapons? A crossbow, you say? Not just a re not just a regular crossbow, but like a hand crossbow. Uh, you know, you load it with one hand and you shoot it like a like like my pistol here. I would be liking in the area of a hand crossbow. Yes, I'd, we are a little lacking on the weapons of range. We do we carry ourselves, you know with our axes and our battle axes, but having an arranged weapon, that is a mighty good realm amongst these parts. I'd give you 80 gold for her. Ah, uh, deal. <laughs> okay. He hands you a sack of 80 gold. Why didn't you just swap it and take the 50? What? You take the 5 gold. He said the the chain metal breastplate was seventy five gold. He's paying you eighty for the crossbow. You could have just been like, "Well, just give me the difference <laughs> and the chain meal." I never mind. Really, I'm not really saying anything about the purchase, but whatever. Go ahead. So yeah, uh, thank you for buying my. Crossbow, would you like to have crossbow bolts? I have 20. You may buy them. I will give you 20 silver pieces. For the whole thing? For all your crossbow bolts. Eh, fuck it, that's okay. Let's go. He hands you a bag of 20 silver pieces. Cool, there you go, bud. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a hand crossbow and some bolts. Thank Good you for you. Very much. Alright, now I'm gonna buy your friggin' your chain mail. He sticks out his hand for the 75 gold. There you go, bud. You, you can treat yourself to something nice. Thank you very much. He slaps on the counter a piece of your chainmail set. Hell yeah. You can now add chainmail to your equipment. And equip it. She would just go into manage equipment and type it in. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm strong boy now. I'd recommend you go by the component shop at least. My brother's down there and he'd be selling a good number of things over there. Uh, yeah, like what? Your survival needs and a few knickknacks of others. Neat. Alright, I think I will go do that, my good sir. Thank you very much for your, uh, time. Cutting over to Ava. Are you yeah, I'm you're editing the. Are you done listening to the crowd? Yeah, I'm done listening to the crowd, and I'm headed into aquatic store. Welcome, um, welcome to the aquatic store. We have all your aquatic needs for mining and the deep sea operations. Oh, okay. Um. What can I get you, lass? We have leather, it, studded leather, your hides, your shields, as well as a few armor. As well as a few iron spikes to be perusing about to lay down for little bitty traps for all the unwanted. Traps, you say? What type of traps? Sorry, give me a moment. My cat is demanding. Okay, one moment. I gotta take my cat out. Okay. Amazing. You are so extra. What do you mean? You are. It's fucking funny, and you know it. Okay, not it. Nah, you're fine. Sorry, my cat bit me. What a jerk. Nice. I was like trying to be nice and like love on her and like 
play the game like, nope, nope, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Underwater, you need to be quite fast and... You need to be quite fast and swift. We have some iron spikes for all your land dwellers and your sea dwellers. Place the iron spikes around where you need to be doing your operations. Anything that steps or gets cut by him starts to bleed like a Mary Jane. You have anything that'll make someone swim faster? What do you mean, swing faster? Like swim faster. Swim faster. No, we don't be having any of those magics, but we do be having your underwater. Leather be the best option, I should say. Hmm. What about armor? You said something about underwater armor. Ah, yes. We have our leather armor, our studded leather armor, and our shield. Perfect for the underwater fighting or keeping yourself light enough to swim, but still have a wee bit of armor left over. Hmm. <laughs> She's going to kind of like look around for a bit. Anywhere in town sells spells. We do have a few of our magic armors available. You do? We do. <coughs> so, what do we do about uh, working on a deal with some of those magical armors? Can you tell me about them? She's going to lean real close, like putting her tit basically we on have... the counter. A Leaning plus, close. We have our leather plus one lineup and we have our leather plus two lineup. Okay, so what's the difference? The difference what do they offer? Is that you get a plus two to your armor whenever you. So out of, um, out of character, a plus two and a plus one just means that. So a normal studded leather armor is 14 armor class. But if you get a mm -hmm. plus one to that, that means it's a 15 armor class base. Or a mm. 16 armor class base. That's not factoring in your dexterity points. Okay. Because it would go your armor class, meaning your armor, and then it goes your dexterity. Okay. And it adds the two. So, so if my armor class is 17 and my dex is plus two? So... I want you to go into your inventory yeah. and go to whatever armor you're wearing and then unequip it real quick and see how much your armor class drops. Mm. Oh, it drops to 16. So that means that your baseline deck should be leaning up for a bit of that, but essentially, if you had, <coughs> you would be adding on a plus one or a plus two onto your current armor class. I want to add a plus two to <laughs> be higher. So, have you found anything you'd be wanting? I'd like to get that um, plus two leather armor. Then I'm gonna need lass. I'm gonna need some gold. And the gold that I'm gonna need from you is about a hundred and seventy gold. Hundred and seventy gold. I think I can do that. Um, but maybe we could bargain, or you know, do a little this and that. She's going to kind of lean in more. Give him a little wink. Lass, what you offered me? I could offer you... Mm, let me see what I got. Six is only going to knock it off ten gold points. What? You be flashing your tits like you're a fucking prostitute. 
God damn. <laughs> now I'm sitting them on the counter because they're happy. Anyways. <laughs> It's only gonna knock it down ten gold pieces. Her fucking. Mm. I don't want to get rid of my loot. All right, one seventy it is. She's just gonna hand him over the one seventy. Thank you kindly, madam. So you now have a plus two. Studded leather armor. Add that to your inventory. Is is there a chance like I could like try and look inside of the store, not like go in it, but like see if she would that she attempted that? So you being outside, Corin, you can see through the window briefly that she shrugged her tits onto the countertop, and that a guy talked about something, and then she winked or jiggled them. That's all that you can see. <laughs> uh, knows what happened. <laughs> he laughs. Hold on, I'm going to find it. It only had... How do I add to it? Because I only have the regular leather armor. So, go type into manage inventory. Yeah. So, on your inventory, you click on equipment. Yep. Then you go to manage inventory, and then you type yep. into the search bar, studded leather armor. Oh, studded. So, studded leather. After you've typed that in, scroll down. And you add in, you would click on studded leather armor, select the studded leather plus two, and you would add it to your inventory. Find it. Yes. I found uh, studded leather, and then it says add amount. It says two. No, 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 no. So you typed in studded, studded leather, leather armor. So if you typed in studded leather, but you gotta scroll down. Yeah, there's acid, cold, fire, force. But did you click lightning? On, did you click on load more? All the way to the bottom. Oh, a little more. Oh, I see it. Studded leather plus two, and... <clears throat> okay. I got it. So, add it, and then equip it. Okay, I get it. I equipped it. You yeah, have an armor class of 20. Yep. So, she's just gonna take it and walk out. Thanks. And walk out with it. You see Corin smiling with a shitty eating grin. <laughs> uh, did you try to solicit that guy for sex? No, I tried to charm him. Didn't work uh, out too well. Uh -huh. Whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure. Don't make me slap you. I'll do it with a flip. You want, uh -huh. you want everybody back. to see you cry? No, yeah, look. That's not going to happen again. Oh, it's not? I'm not going to cry. You can't make me. Corn's oh, going to walk. Corn's going to, like, <laughs> quickly uh, walk away. I can't. Little bitch. Exactly what you are. <laughs> are you guys going to head over to the component mm -hmm. shop? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. So as you head over to the component shop, you um head on inside. The guy says, Welcome to the component shop. For what can I get you? Uh, what do you got? Well, we have your backpacks, bedrolls, blankets, 
common clothes, your, your costume clothing, fine clothes, traveler's clothes, component pouches, just a regular pouch, some rope, some sacks, a two-person tent, you got some acid vials, some alchemist's fire, antitoxins, a few glass bottles in a component pouch. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff you got there, bud. How, how long have you been in business? Oh, a long time, I imagine, with all these uh, knickknacks and baubles. So this shop has been here for generations. My father owned it, his father owned it, a father before his father owned it, and so on and so forth. You know, that's majestic as shit, and I love to hear shit like that. Thank you for telling me that. Thank you. Are you the family owned against the corner rowing? Family owned component shop. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, you got, um, actually, I don't think I need anything. I think I'm good, actually. <laughs> anything I can get for you, Lass? Yeah, hey, woman, do you need anything? Corn, you talk to me like that again, I'm going to punch you in your fault. <laughs> Corn laughs. Ma'am, I didn't need to be rude to you, but you don't need to be rude to me back. Oh, I'm sorry, no. it wasn't it wasn't to you, it was to the stupid angel looking guy over there. Hey, I'm um, not stupid. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean that. Um it wasn't for you, it was for him. Um I'm actually really just looking for spells, to be honest. Where are we Can you point me in the right direction? Spells per se, but we do have an acid I do have some stuff that alchemists like. Acid vials and alchemist fire. Alchemist fire, you say? Alchemist fire is a wee bit like this. It's it's a fireball trapped in a bottle. You throw it at your target and it does the instant damage. You don't have that. Say no. Say psych. She's going to look at corn and just roll her eyes and look back at the... And then we the... have acid vials that act as your cantrips, you could say. For an acid for an acid arrow, you throw it on your target. It splashes across them. Anything in five feet gets burned with an acid. Uh, hmm. How much for two acid and two fire? Two acid vials. Each acid vial is twelve gold piece. In each alchemist's fire is fifty gold piece. Hmm. I'll take four of the acid. Here you go, ma'am. As you get the acid gonna... vials, each vial has a green, bluish liquid sealed with inside of it that glow and swirl within the vials. <coughs> Let me write down in Discord. Okay. For you. She and she's gonna pay him the amount. Alright, let me do that. You know, the, uh, each, you said four acid vials? Yeah. That'll cost you... 40 gold. Okay. And she pays him the amount. Thank you for your business, ma'am. Now you be careful there about all the sea and miners going around. It's a lot of busy work and a lot of fighting going around. Don't be caught between the wars. No, I, I 
You, but you don't have any place that sells magic spells at all, do you? Sorry, ma'am. This isn't a magic town. This is a mining. This is a mining operation. Strip mm. mining on land and sea mining operations underwater. I would say you'd be oh. going over to Albion for magic, but it seems the place has gotten all in a bit of a ruckus recently. Yeah, the yeah. entire place is gone. <laughs> gone? What? What do you mean gone? Like nothing. Seen... Nothing. Shut up, Cord. What you want to tell? Like her. All She's right, gonna fine. turn to him. Don't worry about my friend. He's a little. Sorry, but I've been hitting the sap. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit fucked up. Corn pretends to be drunk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. Thank you for these so very much. Um. We'll tell all your, all of our friends. We're gonna go now. You have a great day. She's gonna like, start heading out the door and pulling corns, like, tugging at his clothes and be like, "Come on." All right, fine. God, you are demanding. Well, this is the end of the session. <laughs>